today's adventure starts in London. <laughs> 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 Wearing any jumpers? Oh, uh, hello, <laughs> <laughs> darling. It was really cool. As we were arriving in London, I kept saying to the girls, "We're in London, babies! London, baby! London, baby! London, baby! That's London, baby!" It was like it's a running joke that we've been making for quite some time, and they were so so excited um, when that day came that we trained in to London. Hey, Lil. How's our morning been so far? Very ibby jabby. Very ibby jabby. What's happened? Well, everyone's happy. So I've woken up and didn't really wanna. Um, we had breakfast. We were pretty much out the door. Then we came here, did all the ibby jabby up and down everywhere around. Stuff. <laughs> Then what happened? Um, we got to our station and then some people helped us find the Eurostar. And now we're the underwater train. The underwater train. Um, and the kids were super excited. They're like, are we going to see fish? <laughs> yeah, sadly, we can't see the fish. Oh, that would be cool. Oh, so we are in Gare du Nord with the Eurostar right there. And the kids are playing foosball. Oh, Olivia scored an own goal. forward to the the train travel for that and I was like eh, you know we've been on a few trains now um, but I get it I get why you get it. like that old world travel um, yeah. it's it's kind of simple it's, it is. it's you're not as far removed from so much it's not as it's not as hassly either it didn't feel hassly but then again, I just follow this dude all through the train stations mm -hmm. and I'm just like, oh, we're here. Okay, cool.
Kitchen, like I've not had one of these since Greece. This is awesome. <laughs> so Olivia, where are we? In London. And we're in London, but they have the real Greek here in London. Daddy? Bridge that collapsed in the opening of Harry Potter. Yeah. So just near St Paul's, which is pretty cool, mm. within walking distance of pretty much everything. Three tube stops within spitting distance of us, which is awesome. Oh, we, we uh, walked over the Death Eater Bridge. That's right. We were within minutes of being here and getting settled in. We're like, what's that bridge? And they're like, it's the Death Eater Bridge. Which is the Millennium Bridge. Mm. For those of you who <laughs> haven't seen Harry Potter, it's the Millennium Bridge. However, mm. for those of you that have seen Harry Potter, you will notice it as the bridge that got pulled down as the Death Eaters uh, flew around it after mm. capturing Ollivander. I don't think they knew what to expect. No, they had no idea. Like, which was good. I say to Olivia, oh, you know, red phone box, go, go over there and take a picture. And she's like, okay. We kicked off our time in London. In a pub. In a pub. Maybe. Uh, Maybe. <laughs> We are. Yeah. Where are we? This is so cool. It's a lion king. Yeah. It's so cool. And the lion king is down there. It's so cool. It's a lion king. Are you going to turn the camera around? Oh, of course. <laughs> that we had been really geared up for coming to London was taking the kids to the Natural History Museum. They used to love watching Andy's, Andy's prehistoric, prehistoric adventures. adventures. I love all and, of the yeah. history, dinosaurs and whatevers. What? I don't know. You better get in it, guys. 
So yeah, just lots of general sightseeing in London and it did make it easier with the references from Harry Potter to, yeah, talk about like the landmarks around here. It's also some been, been some pretty cool references to a, a series of books by James Mayhew, mm. which hasn't just been solely London. <coughs> um, it's a Katie series of books, mm. which basically she interacts with paintings. And um, artwork. And artwork. And but there is one it. specifically called Katie in London. Yeah. And she rides one of the lines in Trafalgar Square all around the place. And so that was a really good book to read to, to them before coming here. So. I miss going fishing at Bruni. I miss going fishing at Bruni. That seriously just came to me. You miss going fishing at Bruni. Yeah, that seriously just. We're in Piccadilly Circus, and you miss going fishing at Bruni. Yeah, we managed to bring London to life. Yeah. We went on the eye. We did. At night. We did. And it's one of those things that being able to see the city, particularly from the air at night, I think gives you a, a much more... It was very dramatic. Yes. Um, dramatic feel to the city. I got too tight, Mummy. You got me tight? Yeah. <laughs> she's a little, just a little. Okay, to find a little, big. Um, she's a little bit scared of heights, as you might have seen or realised in some of our other videos. So this is going to be a big challenge for her, but I got a tie. I'm excited. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. All your life, you were only waiting. For this moment to arise Blackbird singing in the dead of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see All your life You were only waiting for this moment in the tube in the tube. Tube. I don't like the tube. 
because all of those gates slap my arms. <laughs> we will see you on the next adventure. Thanks for watching. Hey Lil, that looks like a church you've built. <laughs> 